that's what a pause is for. Let's get rolling already. <laughs> there we go. All right, so on the red team, that's the Thieving Predators, we have the St. Glaswegian Kiss, piloted by Mighty Keb. It is a Pyramidian with an Artemis and a Gatling on the front, as well as a Banshee and a Flare Gun in the back. On the red team, we have the Nandarin, which is piloted, which is a Mobula, piloted by Sir Stefan, with a Hades on the top, two Artemises on the bottom, and a Gatling and a Flare on the top. All right, and then we got the blue team, Mobula at 10. Attenuation being piloted by Finks with a double Artemis bottom, Hades top, Gatling top right, and a flare top left. Looks like a similar build to what Sir Stefan has. And then we got a Galleon, Libat, already taking engagement here. Let's just go ahead and focus on that. Um, I'll call out these. Uh, go ahead and focus on the engagement. I'll call these out. He's probably focusing with a uh, Lumberjack and a Flak with a Hades. Yep, on the left side. That's a typical build. And then a Carinade Watcher right. Yeah, typical build, meta build for a Galleon. He's already taken a lot of hits, though. Oh, no. This might be the end of Libac already happening. Uh, this is going really fast. Hallbreak Libac. Attenuation switching targets, trying to get St. Glass Wigan Kiss out of the fight. Is he able to do it? He is able to, to avoid Nandarin. Nandarin going kind of low there, keeping his Artemis out of arc. He needs to raise up and quick. The Glass Wigan Kiss has just elevated itself above the Galleon. Okay, look at this. Just like in the fight over Fernfield match, you're going to see a lot of great target swapping. And that's something I really want to be able to point out there. Target swapping is key to engagements. St. Glass Wink is disabled by that Watcha. He's rising up. He's trying to get out of the fight, get recovered, get his guns back up. He should. He might try to go after Attenuation. Let's see. There it is. Look at that. Going after Attenuation. They're going to double team this guy. Lit back out of the fight way too low. He's going to have to rise up. But Galleon's raised way too slowly to support his ally. What's Nandarin doing? Is he going to go after the Galleon? I think he is. St. Glasswing Kiss probably going to go for the Ram, but Attenuation going to be able to dodge it, though. Glasswing Kiss has lost his balloon due to the Galleon's Lumberjacks. Oh, yes, and Galleon is back in the fight. It was only a split second, but look at this. An already hall break on Attenuation. Oh, so much damage. Lipak is going to keep going after Nandarin. Attenuation is going to go after Nandarin. Glasswing Kiss is going to be free to maneuver. Way too free to maneuver on your ally there, Libak. You're going to have to do something about that, but it might be too late for your ally. And a kill goes out. Blue team has the kill advantage. Look at how close that was. How is that Lesbian Mobula kiss. not dead yet? Oh, a hall break. That's all you need. Gatling. Libak turning his guns. Can, glass wing kiss. Go. Just go forward. Go. Get out of there. Your engines are disabled. You still got a main. Get out of there. Oh, is that the turn engine? He has a turn engine up, not a main. Get out of there. Get out of there. Is he within arming range of the, of the Lumberjack? That's the real key question here. Oh, he's not even on the Lumberjack side. He's on the Carinade. Watch a side. He might be able to get away just fine. Oh, he bumped. Bumped into a mouth. This might be it. Like this it might be it. Lip attack. Take advantage. Now's your chance. Nandarin coming in with the save. Libak going to have to disengage. He's not going to be able to chase this kill. Broadside guns not going to be able to get on. Glass Wing Kiss. Glass Wing Kiss going to get away from this. If... if, if if Libak decides to engage right now, he's going to be completely exposed to Nandarin, despite attenuation coming in. And there it is. Glass Wing Kiss able to get away. Now Nandarin just has to watch his ass get out of there. There he goes, and he'll be fine. And this will be a re-engagement for Red Team. Yeah, so now the Lib ATK is way below. Oh, actually, it does appear that he does have arc. He has arcs on the on some on the Mobula. Yeah, so he's Lib not ATK. entirely out of this engagement. Gonna go ahead and start calling him Lib Attack because that's the first thing that comes to my mind. All right. Lib Attack getting great. Oh no, not quite. Lumberjacks are hitting. There goes the balloon on Glass Moon Kiss. Moon Kiss falling, but he'll be just fine as long as attenuation isn't gonna be able to follow up. But he is. Oh no, and now he's gonna bump his ally. Oh, this might be it. Let's Those see. Handy no, shots he... taking away about half of its whole health. What I said earlier, about 700 meters for the average gunner with the Hades. Other than that, you're really not going to hit as consistently as you want. Unless, of course, it, just average gunner. About 700 meters is the max range for the Hades. Unless you happen to practice all day long. Even if you do practice all day long, it's, it, it's still... I, I have not seen consistent hits with the Hades beyond 700 meters with even the best gunners. It just does not happen. Yes, those arcing guns are especially hard to get consistent hits with, 
as it is very difficult to judge the distance and the speed of your opponents. Arguably, I would say it goes Flak, Hades, and then Lumberjack, and then maybe the Mortar. And the Mortar actually might be harder than the Lumberjack. In fact, I personally think the Lumberjack is way or the Mortar is way harder than the Lumberjack. I personally think everything's difficult. <laughs> Okay, Glass, we can kiss going on for a flank here. Pretty sure attenuation is aware, and they are. In not having any support from his ally, he should probably think about backing off or at least staying in cover. Force attenuation to either go forward, expose himself, or back off. And that's what they want. You gotta fight for cover. Especially this map, just like Fernfield. Gotta fight for cover. Look at Nandarin. Has no cover. Lib attack. He does have some cover. It is a broadside ship. If he wants to, he can go forward or backwards and be able to get cover. Nandrin completely exposed, though. His only option is to go down right and get behind that little bit of cover uh, that's in the ocean there. If he keeps backing up, he's going to leave his teammate exposed. It's not what he wants to do. Yes, and being a galleon it, and that is a broadside ship, it is a lot easier to grab co cover than a mobula that requires its front turret of the opponents to take shots. Yes, that's especially true on this map. Some maps, Black, Clash of Black Cliff comes to mind, not so much true. This map, definitely true. And look at this, Glasswing Kiss got pushed out of his cover. Attenuation able to go around that little cliff that, uh, that, that Glasswing Kiss was using his cover, and that's going to completely decimate him. Libertac probably going to put his Lumberjacks right on Glasswing Kiss. It looks far, but, but not for an experienced gunner. You see the flax going wide there, they're just trying to tune in. Attenuation getting a haul break. Nandarin out of the fight, not going to be able to do anything. Yes, just based on general approximation, that looks like it's about slightly over a thousand meters for the lib attack. Oh yes, that is just at about a thousand two hundred meters, and that's easily uh, lumberjack range. Hate the flak, not so much, but look at this. Glass Wing Kiss is about to go down here. He is completely at a standstill. He lost all momentum. Lumberjack, there they come. There comes the flax, hitting him. The flax are dialed in. That's one flak hit. That's all you need to be dialed in. Armor break. Artemis going to be Artemis out of range for attenuation, but that flak not out of range. That lumberjack not out of range. Yes, Nandarin, so. Ooh, there you go. Not probably not going to be enough though. Even a single good hit with a heavy flak can change the entire game. Even if ships are at full health, that heavy flak just doing so much damage to a ship when its armor is down. And you see what the heavy flak changes, having four rounds per shot. Three rounds if they're using Lesmok, which I'm assuming they are. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I see some Lesmok for the... Uh, yeah, I see Lesmok going out there. So Lesmok being used for the flak. They're able to... That's three shots to dial in. Uh, you want to dial in those shots. Just keep firing. Keep firing. Maybe that's not how the captain wants his, his crew to do, but that's what you want to do with the flak. You keep firing until you're dialed in. Once you're dialed in, you save that shot. You know where to aim. And that's, that's, that's the difference between an experienced player and someone relatively new to the game. You understand those little bit, those little differences, and it's just those little differences that are mean the difference between mastering and just you know being effective. Now it appears that red, the red team are trying to take a two v one onto the attenuation, both charging in, while the lib attack is sitting beneath them with its lumberjack and its hades and its heavy flak, just taking shots. I'm loving this continuation kind. Didn't really overextend, but he did get. Glasswing Kiss took an opportunity, you know. But look at all those missed Hades from Nandarin. That's such a shame. That could have been a kill on attenuation if those Hades would have hit. The difference one person can make in this game. Remarkable. Look at still miss Hades. No, let's hit those Hades. Get that kill. Let's see a two to one over here. Glasswing Kiss moving in. Now the Nandarin has lost both its balloon and its armor. And oh, it's oh, flak! That is what you see there. Dolling in with that flak and able to get the kill. That's what you just saw. That's why his health dropped so quickly. Let's see. Come on. Can Red Team just say, screw it. Just go in. You have nothing to lose here. Go for it. Just go. But a mobby looking dodge Pyramidian. What a shame. Sometimes you get caught in the moment, and now you're going to die as a result. Yes, with with a mat with a match that with, with including teams of such high profile, even a single kill on s such a low hull of health can matter, make and, the entire I, difference in the game. And I really can't blame, I really can't blame the Pirate Midian there. Norwegian Kiss just, just, think, just screw it. I'm gonna rush him. I'm gonna try and ram this dude. He got caught in the moment. He was gonna die regardless. Might as well try to go for the ram. But attenuation was just like, nope, bro. I'm gonna press S because I'm a Mobula. 
too easy to dodge a Pyramidian and Mobula. It's not like the last match in a Junker. Mobulus can dodge Pyramidians all day long. But now look at this. They're both at full health. <laughs> they can re-engage. You know they're going to go for that Mobula. Lib attack, kind of low. Lumberjack and... You know what? His entire left side has huge upward arcs. He really doesn't have to be high up in the air if he doesn't want to be. In fact, this might be part of his strategy, because one of the problems of being in a Galleon with a Lumberjack and a Hades and a Flak is downward arcs. Not so much upward, but downward. He probably plans on pushing these guys to the limit. Look at that altitude deviation on blue team. He probably plans on sinking these dudes and keeping his guns in an arc at all time. He knows he has upward arcs. He's worried about downwards. He doesn't want to pop their balloon, have them fall, then have to chase them down. Meanwhile, he's missing shots because he's moving, he's missing shots because he's not an arc, and he's missing shots because he doesn't know where they are because he can't see through the damn ship. That's probably what his strategy is here. See how he's staying at kind of a medium altitude? Yes, these, these blue ships have entirely different gun, gun layouts. The Mobula, using Artemises, which have much better downward arcs than they do upward. And meanwhile, the Galleon, using guns such as the Flak and the... Lumberjack, which have excellent upward arcs. Yeah, and you see that. Look at the altitude deviation. I mean, you can see the strategy. It's there. It's very prevalent. And it, it, it will hall break on lip attack. Nader not taking advantage. He's way out of range for his Artemis. Well, he's probably just within range of his Artemis. The glass Legion Kiss is losing its armor just in time for its ram. Losing a large yeah. chunk of its oh, And there's the Mobula what? going down. What was able to secure that kill? Was that... I didn't even see what was able to secure that kill. I tried to see it. It looks like it might have been the Artemis. Paul Brick and then an Artemis shot at the exact same time. And now Libitech, all by himself, not able to get guns on Glass. We can kiss. That's going to leave him open. Nandarin, <laughs> awesome Hades shots. Got quite a few hits. This might be it for Libitech. He's going to move forward, though. He might actually ram Glass. We can kiss and get the kill from it. No, just missed, and that's going to be his death. That was his only saving grace, but that might be it. That's going to be it for Libitech. Yes, especially with its back toward its opponents. The guy his only chance much. is to turn fast and get it. Not going to happen. It's done. His only chance was to turn fast, get a watch of barrage, maybe get a kill, but probably not. So good to go. We got a 3-3 three to three with uh, blue team advantage. Red team, though, is suffering a huge haul break. Yes, if this engagement goes ideally for their team, this match will be over. It will, yes. Best bet for red team, sacrifice your Pyramidian, get as much as you can, Nandarin, back off. Don't necessarily give up on your ally. Don't make him suicide, because you can get some permahaul damage. But be in a position where you can back off and survive without taking permahaul. Let him respawn, go back 100% with a damaged opponent. If they do that, I don't know, but Nandarin needs to be very careful, because the second glass we can kiss is taken down, they know he, has, he is at low health. Second that guy's taken down, they're going to focus Nandarin. They might focus Nandarin just off the bat. He's a Mobula. Focus a Mobula. They're weak. Yes, and especially on this Pyramidian, it is so easy to see that it is on low health. I believe of all the ships, it is the most noticeable, at least to me, when it, it is low on health. Oh, very much so, because the <laughs> fact is, once that balloon is damaged, once that balloon is at half health, you know you have an advantage. The only saving grace for a Mobula is its balloon. That's what makes it such a unique ship. It goes up and down. Without that, it's a dead man. And it is the only ship to have the balloon on the bottom. Oh yes, that's a very another great feature. I love it. So when it is bottoming out, it'll take it'll take damage into its balloon before and in, into the hull. But if it can't oh. get up, it's just going to continually lose its balloon. Yes, it will just keep losing its balloon. It's just a never-ending cycle. A beautiful ship. I, one Mobula is definitely one of my favorite ships. I actually like every ship equally. They're all my favorite ship. This game, the ship design are so great. I can't say the same for Alliance, but I'm starting to like love. Yes, being a Skyborn, I wasn't. I wouldn't be surprised about your first statement in that one. Well, my favorite ship has always been the Squid, of course. But <laughs> Mobula has definitely grown on me because of. There's there's several reasons, but let's uh, let's focus on the match here. 
Looks like attenuation is focusing on glass freaking kiss. This is might be it. Is Nandarin gonna back out? This is his time, Nandarin. Get out. Get out, dude. Your your ally's done. Come on. Don't fall for it. Nandarin loses his like, balloon, dropping loses. rapidly now. Back Five out. minutes left in the match. Oh, this is so close. Attenuation really putting pressure on Glassween Kiss. Glassween Kiss, he could recover from this. He is in cover. He 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 could he could make a comeback and get up to attenuation. Attenuation moving very close. That Hades is way too accurate though. Come on, let's see. If the Hades is inaccurate on attenuation, Glass Week has a chance. If not, and look, that Hades is too accurate. And Libatac just put his guns on, and that's it. So Nandrin, back up, back up, dude. Get out of there. Get behind the cover. You you have plenty of cover. You have plenty of time. Get out of there. He's backing straight up. This is going to be his death. He's backing straight up. He needs to get behind some kind of cover. Look at how he's backing up. It, it, just press M for a second. He is in so much open space. They need to take advantage of this. Blue team needs to take advantage of this fact. And I think they are. Attenuation put himself in a position to attack. Lib attack going around. Going to go put himself in a position to attack. And Nandarin has no cover. It's going to take him forever to get behind that little bit of a spire that's behind him. He's not going to be able to get behind it in time because he has to turn and mobiles are slow. Yes, and being in the blue spawn is a huge disadvantage for the red team because the Glaswegian Kiss needs to run across the entire map to enter this engagement. Yeah, and his only chance is to go after Attenuation, but he might get tricked and go after Libatech. Libatech can disable him, though. That Watcha is really good at disabling front guns. Not necessarily the engine, but engines don't matter on a Pyramidian when you're trying to ram a Galleon. It is not going to work. Pyramidian can ram any other ship except a Galleon. Won't work, buddy. But look at this. He's still trying. And look, Attenuation just said, all right, forget it. I'll just go after the Pyramidian. Oh, no. They have the Pyramidian surrounded. Pyramidians. Ooh, Libertech just hit the wall. And his, really his armor just armor went down. And balloon. His armor and his balloon. Yep. The but not Legion enough. Kiss has lost its armor as well. Nandarin might be able to kill Libertech here. Come on. Let's see it happen. Let's see a kill. Attenuation, don't get your guns in arc. Will he get him an arc? No, Glasswing Kid's backing up. Attenuation knows this. Look at how he's backing up. Glasswing Kid's backing up, backing up, trying to rise. Attenuation backing up, backing up, because he knows Glasswing Kid's is below him. He does not want Glasswing Kid's uh, behind him. And, and there you go. He prevented it. Glasswing Kid's going after Libatac. Libatac going to suffer another armor break. Probably going to be a death here. See, Nandarin has lost both its armor and balloon, but the armor has both have been repaired since then. Yes, you're right. Look at this. I'm looking at the pilot tools, finally. He has Phoenix Claw, Hydrogen, and Kerosene. That is a huge mistake. Glaswegian Kiss at minimal health. A single Gatling gun would be able to finish it off at this point. Will the red team be able to, ta to take the t the ship advantage? That's going to be it. Let's or see. Or will the blue team be able to take advantage of this very low ar hull? One paw break. Hades, one person makes all the difference in the world. Nandarin popping up. There the it is. Come on, get out of there, Glass Week. So low. Paw break and a hit. There and he it is. Unfortunately, Nandarin, you fell too far. Phoenix Claw, commonly understood by some of the higher players in the game, do not take Phoenix Claw, especially if you're not even going to be facing close range. This isn't Pirates and Rumble. I'd understand if it was Pirates and Rumble, maybe Cannon Ambush, Duel at Dawn, take Phoenix Claw. I get that. This is a long-range map. You do not want to take Phoenix Claw with a Mobula. You want to take a Drug Shoot. You, you want to be able to fall slowly so you can keep engaging. And I think that's might might have what have caused them that, that win there. And that's very unfortunate. Maybe he'll learn his lesson. It's very unfortunate. I, I think that could have went easily for uh, Team Predator or Team... Predator lightning guys. Thieving predators. Thieving predators. Very 